Hey hey guys, Adam here with another War Thunder Tricks video. In this video, I will detail an advanced mech trick which you can use on high tier BF109s to increase thrust at low speed. I will also explain why this phenomenon occurs, aerodynamically speaking. There's going to be a lot of graphs in this one, so strap in and enjoy the efficiency. Without further ado, let's pitch right into it. First off, Let's remember what the relationship is between speed and thrust for piston engines. Thrust is inversely proportional to speed, which means that thrust increases as speed decreases, as you can see on the F44B thrust as a function of speed graph. However, if you get to a low enough speed, the propeller can lose efficiency and cause a reduction in thrust as speed further decreases, which happens at around 70 kmph for the F44B. Generally speaking, the higher the engine power and the lower the diameter of the propeller, the earlier the aircraft starts losing thrust as speed decreases. BF109s, especially late BF109s, have high engine power with a relatively small propeller, so we should expect them to be highly affected by this phenomenon. Indeed, the following graph shows that the K4's thrust drops as speed decreases below 200 kmph, while this only happens to the F44B below 70 kmph. As a result, the K4 will have worse low speed performance than what you'd otherwise expect given its climb rate. BF109s aren't the only aircraft which suffer from this. Other high power aircraft with relatively small propellers see a drop in thrust at low speed, such as the Spitfire LF Mark IX and the Pifitone H, but to a lesser degree. Short story time. I discovered this phenomenon around 3 years ago and submitted a bug report asking why BF109s lose thrust as speed decreases, while nearly every other prop aircraft saw an increase in thrust. The conclusion is as follows. The propeller must use up all the engine power. Under normal circumstances, the propeller turns at a constant RPM and the pitch angle of the propeller blades vary with speed to stay efficient and keep RPM constant. As you can see on the propeller pitch angle as a function of speed graph, the pitch angle reduces as speed reduces from 600 kmph to 225 kmph as we would expect. As the K4 goes below 225 kmph, the pitch angle starts increasing instead of decreasing, worsening the propeller efficiency by making the propeller stall just like a wing would, which is what reduces thrust at low speed. The reason why the pitch angle starts increasing at low speed is because the propeller isn't big enough to convert all the engine power into thrust efficiently, so the pitch angle is forced to increase to put a bigger load on the engine to prevent the engine from over revving, which eventually stalls the propeller at low speed, leading to a loss of thrust. I gave a detailed explanation as to why the loss of thrust happens, because knowing why it happens is the first step to fixing the issue. The issue is that automatic engine controls limits the engine to 2800 RPM, which forces the pitch angle of the propeller blades to increase, stalling the propeller. The solution is to take manual control of the prop pitch angle and reduce the angle by increasing the prop pitch percentage. This will prevent the propeller blades from stalling, which will increase thrust, but RPM will increase as a result. As long as you keep RPM below 3200, your engine won't take damage. This solution only works on German aircraft because prop pitch percentage controls the pitch angle directly, instead of giving a target RPM like in other aircraft. Now that we understand what's going on, let's test and take a look at the results. The tests consist of setting the prop pitch on the runway, and then taking off with full flaps and max pitch up. I did 4 tests, the black curve is the automatic prop pitch, the green curve is the 60% prop pitch, the yellow curve is the 65% prop pitch, and the red curve is the 70% prop pitch. At 75% prop pitch, the engine over revs and dies. 60% prop pitch doesn't give a noticeable advantage when compared to leaving it automatic. 65% prop pitch gives a 14% increase in thrust at 150 kmhp, and this increases as speed decreases with a 24% increase at 100 kmhp. The red 70% prop pitch curve is the best with a significant 17% increase in thrust at 150 kmh and 38% increase at 100 kmh. Notice that all of the curves would converge at approximately 200 kmh, so it's not worth using this trick above 200 kmh. 
Before I talk about the applications of this trick, I need to warn you that these prop pitch percentages are for sea level. If you try 70% prop pitch at 5 km, your engine will overrev and die, because the air density reduces faster than your engine power, so the propeller is cutting through thinner air, making it easier to overrev at higher altitudes. As you can see here, even at 65% prop pitch, the engine overrevs and dies. The rule of thumb is to decrease prop pitch by 2% every kilometer. So if you start at 70% at sea level, you'll need to use 60% prop pitch at 5 kilometers to preserve your engine. Let's talk about the applications of this trick. You can use this trick on all the tier 3 and 4 BF109s, but you get the most benefit from the higher power BF109s, so I would only use it on the G6 and above 109s. I have one video on YouTube where I use this trick in the Italian G14 to increase performance to keep my speed higher to get the shot on a Yak 3 VK107. Link to that video is in the top right corner. Another application is dueling, since small differences in performance make a big difference in duels, and stall fighting occurs quite often in duels. That's it, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching. Smash like and let me know what tricks you'd like me to cover in the future. 07.